About, about this game, a really hard fought game, but you guys, uh, you guys came up with the win, and you were a really, a really big part of it. Um, well, you know, every game is a tough game. No game is easy. We know we got to come out and play as hard as we can, no matter what team we go up against. And Titanus is a great team. They've been winning a lot, and we knew we had to come out with our A game, but we just kept on fighting all the way to to the end. Dijimos que fue un partido muy interesante, muy batallado, muy duro y que eh, para suerte para ellos obtuvieron la victoria y que él fue una parte muy importante. Él dijo que el, el conjunto de los titanes es un conjunto muy bueno, sabíamos que íbamos a tener que batallar muy duro y que gracias a Dios obtuvieron la victoria. Once again, you had a phenomenal game, 21 points, 12 rebounds. Uh, what was the strategy that the, the, the coach uh, Gonzalez discussed with you and your teammates to win this game against Titanes. Well, we know we were going to have to go to the, uh, for the rebounds because they have uh, Edward Santana, which is a great rebounder, and the other American that they have this big, he, he's a great rebounder. So we knew we had to fight for the rebounds and just go in and play as hard as we can. Had to make the, their bigs come out and play defense too. With, with me having the advantage to be able to move a little bit, it was a little bit easy for us. Le preguntamos que cuál fue la estrategia que implementaron para ganarle a un equipo como los Titanes, ya que él tuvo una actuación fenomenal de 21 puntos y 12 rebotes. Nos dice que se centraron en, en secar a los reboteros como Edward Santana y Maurice Sutton y de, eh, eh, cuidaron esa parte de, de los rebotes. Y eso fue lo que les dio la clave del éxito para ganar el partido de hoy. The big guy from Metros, eh, we're playing, we're playing eh, out, outside the paint. Nonetheless, you stay inside the, uh, the pain, and that, that, gave you, that gave you a really, really good benefit. Was that the strategy for, for, for the Metro's team? Well, we, we had to make adjustments. Uh, with him, you know, with Reggie, he's a new player to this league. He don't know the league this much. He's a, he's a foreign player like Europe, and he's new out here, so he's, just, he's trying to get in his rhythm here, but... You know, our strategy was for him just to play, pick, pick and roll, and, and try to get some block shots and get some rebounds, and we were going to finish the rest. Preguntamos, le dijimos que el conjunto eh, trató de jugar a sus jugadores grandes, muy especialmente desde el, desde el tope, desde la punta. Sin embargo, él siempre se mantuvo, se mantuvo dentro de la pintura y nos dijo que en cierta parte era, esa era parte de la estrategia de, del conjunto, pero muy especialmente jugar eh, a, a, a estos jugadores que no tienen tanta experiencia eh, en esta liga a los fines de que se pueda ir acostumbrando se puedan ir acostumbrando a la misma uh, Robert finally any last message you want to send to the Metro fans who are very happy with this with the seven win in a row for you guys yeah I just want to say to all the Metro fans to keep supporting us keep coming out to all the games keep showing us love because we're, we're out playing our hearts out for, uh, for Metros, for Santiago City. Bueno, le, pre le preguntamos si algún mensaje de exhortación para la fanática de los Metros que están contentas con esta séptima victoria que lograron hoy. Nos dice que lo sigan apoyando, que vamos a dar el 100% como sabemos hacerlo y vamos a jugar siempre con el corazón. Whoa, well, Robert, thanks a lot for being here with us. We really appreciate it and good luck the rest of the way. Okay, thank you so much. Bien, las palabras de Robert Glenn, refuerzo norteamericano del conjunto de los metros de Santiago.